Hi everyone, we are so again. In this video, we're going to see how to press an item and to work and uh, to explain each part so that you can then use it in your school. So, this is the the tool you see right now. This is the first page. This is what we have here. And it's the cover in which you need to put your team's identity. So your team name, your team photo, your team drivers that you have, so that each one of these tools can be customized for each team. Then you go to scoreboard. Now what happens? Here you have scoreboard for each one of the functions. So you have operations, digital marketing, then you have offline marketing, showcase marketing, TM, and finance. Uh, the idea for that is that we can all track our goals. And doesn't matter if you're back office or front office, everyone can track our goals. So if I will start with the scope of four operations, which is the simplest one. So here in operations, you will find the overall organization of the group, then the monthly organization of the group. And the leadership department. And we do one of one so that you understand. So this is called the like general thing that you need to keep into account all the time. So in this overall overall organization goal, it is the goal for the whole semester. So for the whole team experience. So for instance, if your team goal is a hundred million votes, then you will see here in this cell what is the percentage of accomplishment you have. And if your team is red. If it's green, it's yellow. This is his performance score. So that you can see what is the state of your team at every moment. This is automatic. This goes the percentage under color. And I will show you right now how it works. So here we have the member goal as well. So this is a very huge goal divided by member. So we start coming to approvals, we want to make approvals, we want to approvals, etc. And then how much each member achieved. So if I achieved one approval so far, he might approve two. Then it means that I have 5% of my achievement in the goal and it minus 10%. So for each one of us, you have a percentage of accomplishment. So what what happens if you have less percentage of accomplishment? So for instance, if you have a low performance, this would go red. And if you have a medium one, this would go yellow. So then you can see directly. Just by looking at it, what is the current state of your team? Then, if you go below, you will see because this is the semester one, right? The whole team experience. Then, if you go below, you have by me. So, you have September, October, November, December, and January. So, the idea is for you to put how much each one has planned and achieved during the month. So, as you can see, there is a percentage of accomplishment of each one of your members. So you will be very easily seeing what is the percentage of your members achieving their goals in each month and in an overall site. And below, you have the leadership development plan. In here, the idea is for you to put the how much is self-awareness, social media, to be visits and empowering others of each one of your members. So each one needs to take the LDA and you can put here the results so that at the end of the experience you can compare with this result if they developed a lot. Now, you also have the nine box. The nine box is a, this very useful tool to understand which of your members actually has potential for next goal, which ones are actually your goal. This is automatic, this whole map, and also the chart here is automatic. So how does this work? From the one of the month, so in this case would be October, it is linked towards the amount of performance that they had and the amount of potential that they had, depending on if they had a low, medium, or high performance and a low, medium, or high potential, they will be allocated in the nine box. And it will be totally automated. So you will see how many members you have in each one of the nine box boxes, and you can understand what is the thing that you need to develop in each one of them and how you're also doing better team with them. Oh, so this is the total scoreboard for the whole team. You just need to put here the result of the LDA, the plan and achieved of which, of which one of your members in approvals or in applicants or whatever the goal is, and same for each one. Everyone else, everything else, sorry, is automatic. Then for marketing, we have applicants, 
or showcasing we have content showcased and created for offline we have signups from offline info sessions book contacted events book it depends you can customize this for each one of your teams so that you can actually track the whole of your members very important thing is to track how, how much of your members are achieving their goals and for tm for instance members engaged in your project if you have lc based projects or we can have some other kpi to track and take your finance so we need to figure out what is your jd for your manager's finance or jd for your manager's tm and put the goal based on that so that we can actually track everyone even more focus and finally of course then the monthly one will be based on that goal overall goal and the lda is same for everyone and then you have the scoreboard for the month we'll tell you zoom out so you can see the whole thing Perfect. So here you have the for each member for the month of October. So it is divided by month. You don't have by number, you just go to the month and you can see the members accomplishing their goals in that month and everything that they were planning to do in that month. So it is much easier. So you have by members, so for instance, coming here first, then in month, and three, four, blah, blah, blah. And you will have it divided. So you have the organizational goal first and then the personal development goal. And in this, uh, the first part, of course, is regarding to results, approvals, applicants, whatever is the KPI that you have. And then the second one is personal development. So let me see if I can zoom here again. Perfect. So for instance, let, let me show you. So if, for instance, I have as a target approvals, and I have five as a target, and I did one, then the percentage of achievement is totally automatic. And it also, you can also see it here. Then, what about execution? Execution is about the actions for each week. So if you check the, your actions, if you actually accomplish the action that you said you would do, then the percentage will change. So what is the idea here? That you will put first, the are the monthly priorities? So for instance, for me, come and kick off the monthly priority and the and chat capacity building, for example. So these are my three monthly priorities. So what do I have to do? I have to put my actions for each week that will help me accomplish this. So for instance, NEC content creation, NEC platform launch, I don't know, I track keep obsessions, etc. etc. So then I will just click what are the things that I did. So the idea is that in each team meeting you you can actually have a space in which they can check what are the actions that they did, what are the actions that they need to plan. They need to put all the actions for all the weeks from the beginning. But then, of course, maybe they can adapt to some, depending on how they are doing, they can adapt some actions. But I guess for at the beginning of the month, put all of the actions here. So that you know already what the things that you need to do in each month and uh, each week. So, what happens? If you have if you have a high accomplishment or a high execution, this color will change. So, depending on the execution, you will be checking here what the actions that you did. And when you get to more than 80%, it will give you like the green pass that you have execution check. And then for achievement, you need 80% as well or 75% so that you can also have this check. If both are checked, then you will be a green member. Cool. Then what happens with personal development goal? It's the same thing, but only it will be about your personal development. So for instance, if, if we or me can have, I don't know, learning Arabic, uh, working out, and reading a book. Then I will just put the actions for each week, also for my personal development, and check them as well. And they will track my execution for the actions that I did. So this way you can actually take the actions towards your development and not only say, not only say, I want to develop public speaking and then not doing anything about it. So that's the idea. You as team leaders, you need to sit down with your members, put all of these monthly priorities, weekly actions and organizational goals in the very first month one um, of the month. And then each week you can track the actions. And then at the end of the experience, you can try to actually what all the things they accomplished in the personal development for each month. So that's it for the tool. Then November and December, it's exactly the same. And the only thing that will change, oh, I have to show you this. So if 
if the performance changes, so for instance, here in October, if this performance changes here in the organizational goal, it will change in the scoreboard in the nine box. Same for the personal development goal. So what we're taking here is that performance is taken from organizational goal and potential is taken from the personal development. So if personal development is high, then it would change the scoreboard here. See? So it can be changed from the to the depending on how much I accomplished in my goal and how much I accomplished in performance. Right now I'm start for instance. What happens? If I accomplish everything here, it will change as well. Let's go to green. Now I have a, I'm happy to perform. See? And it changes automatically also in the nine books. We will be doing another video explaining a little bit more about nine books, how can you use it, how can you understand what it means, what actions to take with each one of these boxes. So far, this is what we've got. So then you have it here automatic. And you can actually see if they are red, if they are orange, if they are yellow, green, or blue. Cool. So that's it for the tool. I hope you have clarity now about what's going to happen. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, you can ask us, and we'll be doing another one, another video for nine, so we can help you also with that. Thank you, guys.